How do you duplicate a page in WordPress? Believe it or not, this is not a native feature in WordPress and we actually have to add a plugin. Luckily, super lightweight plugin won't you know, mess up your site or anything and it gives you this really neat, really minimal feature to duplicate pages and posts in WordPress. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm just on my pages right now and you'll notice I have features here, but no duplicate button. If I select it, no bulk action to du duplicate or anything like that, I wish I could but I can't. So I've got to go down to plugins. And once I click on my plugins, I'm actually going to add a new plugin here in the upper left. When we click on that, we're going to search for just, just simply duplicate page. And the first one that pops up here is duplicate page. This is the icon over 2 million active installations, five stars. You know, this is a secure plugin. So we're going to hit install. Now that's going to do its little installation, but it's not activated yet. But what we can do is just click activate right here. So once this activates, it's going to add some small buttons here and there that allow you to duplicate pages. I'm gonna show you the two locations that you can do that. Let's go back to our pages. And let's say I wanted to duplicate the About Me page and maybe work on a different section. Look at that, we've got duplicate this right here. Now there are a few settings we wanna look at just to make sure that this button, when you click it, works the way you want it to work. If we go down to settings, we'll notice that duplicate page has a settings page. So we choose our editor first. I'm in Gutenberg, that's the latest version of WordPress. You can also be in classic editor. I'm gonna keep it at Gutenberg. Now the duplicate post status is the status you want that page to have as soon as you duplicate it. I think publish is a dangerous one. I don't think you wanna do that. Private pending or draft, my default is draft. That's what I would keep it at. Now redirect to, so where do you want this to redirect you after you click that button? Do you want it to go to the all pages or all posts or do you want to go to that specific page? This one's personal preference. I think personally for me, I'd probably go to that specific page. So instead of the all post list, I'm gonna go to the duplicate edit screen. So when I click that button, it's gonna take me right to that new page. You can add a suffix or a copy, clone, anything that will show after the title. Let's go ahead and add copy in here and we're gonna hit save changes. Now, once those are saved, it's currently saving. Okay, settings saved. We're gonna go back to pages. The reason I added that suffix, by the way, is because it's hard to tell which page is which, except for unless it has the word draft after it. I'm gonna go in here and just click duplicate this. Now remember, I selected it to redirect me to the new page. So let's see what happens. It takes me right to this and it shows me right here, my little suffix, which is copy. So I know I'm working on the copy of it right now. It's also a draft, so it's not actually published on my page. I can also see in the lower right hand corner on my page settings, the URL slug it currently has is about me, which would be probably the same as your last URL slug on the last page. So of course you wanna make sure that you don't just publish that right over the top of it. You wanna be able to change this slug down here because you don't want multiple pages with the same URL slug. Luckily, WordPress will make sure that you don't actually overwrite that last page. It'll add like a little number one, number two, number three suffix at the end of that page on the URL slug when you publish it. But anyway, just don't do that. Make sure that you have the slug that you want to have here in the page. So if we take a look at this, we can edit this down here. You can see how it's gonna look on your website, like for mine, pixelandbracket.com slash about me with the copy. The other thing that you can do, we press the button on the all posts page, but in here on the right hand side, we actually have a duplicate this button right here. So if you're working within a page and you want to duplicate that page as you're inside of it, you don't have to go all the way back to the all posts or all pages. You can duplicate it right here on the page itself. And then depending on your settings, it's either gonna take you to all posts or it's gonna take you to the page in which you duplicated, if that makes sense. Now, can you duplicate posts with this? Of course you can. So let's go to posts, I'm gonna leave this, I don't need to save it. And when we're in posts, we have the same exact duplicate this button right here. So if I wanted to basically take what I wrote here and maybe make some adjustments, but keep most of the text or keep the formatting, something like that, I could just hit duplicate this it's gonna take me to the copy of that post. Notice how we have that suffix on there. We can always edit this. Of course, you would wanna edit that and edit the URL slug. But now we have this draft, which if we made any edits, we can hit save draft just to make sure we have the latest, most up-to-date. But we just duplicated pages and posts. You can see here that we have the copy of what we just made, or uh, the duplicate of, you know, from down here. 
So that is how to duplicate pages here in WordPress. Unfortunately, not a native feature, but super simple plugin to duplicate pages. I'm gonna keep this one on my site. I actually didn't have it before, but I've wanted to duplicate pages as I've been sort of building out my posts. Anyway, that's it for this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one.